All right, looks like we are going live, Union Pacific, Big Boy 4014. Uh, Will Class 4884 will be coming through and actually making a pit stop here shortly. So we're going to wait till we see some people come in. And I'm doing this on my phone screen, so it's going to be a little tough because I got the sun behind me, so I've got a glare on my screen. But, uh, I think this is going to be a good view. Um, hey, John, Skookie River Valley, welcome. Now, last I checked, uh, he's moving about 45 miles an hour. He was at Higginson a while ago, so he should be here within 30 minutes or so. I'm going to hope, like heck, that my phone does not die. Um, but we shall see. So he is going to be on the farthest track in front of us. Um, if I pan this way, you can see a Union Pacific and police truck and a another truck that's got a tent on it. And that is more fuel for big boys to be stopping right here. Um, not on the siding track right in front of us, but on the main line, just a few feet away. So, yeah, I'm about 20, that's, that's about right, Heath. I'm about 25 feet away from the tracks. Um, there we go, a little bit. So, like I said, he'll be here probably 20, 30 minutes. Um, last I checked on psteam.com, you track him here where he's at last time I saw him back then. Um, it would be one of the block between here, Higginson, and that's Judsonia. Um, I will tell you, there is a huge <laughs> camera up. And I don't know if you can see the way over there. Um, I don't have Zoom or StreamYard. you can get the deep over there, and it's literally... Hundreds to thousand people, and then there's the people in the shade as well. Uh, because we want to be able to skip. Uh, now, I also went in a video earlier. Um, so, i uh, in Cabot, Arkansas, my town, and there we go. Yeah, I sound like a robot. I know it. So, hey, Tim. Uh, looks like we got Kim Munoz here. Welcome. Eminem and R. Roro. Pretty cool. Rick Bailey, the tree man, is here. So, bio, audio. You <laughs> see a lot of other stuff going on. Um, I've got a lot of background noise. And of course, I had other vehicles nearby with engines. Spring is here, like really. I apologize, the uh, audio is that great. Um, for cell phone, I have no clue. I'm at, uh, I'm on four bars, so that's good. Yeah, I just went off. I didn't, I just literally went off. Um, so you might have gotten out and you might not don't know. And how's it, buddy? And Joe, how are you? Hard to see as well. I'm having to go back. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, Martin, actually, I took the day off today um, just for this. I mean, how often does the big boy come through your area? You know what I mean? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the second excursion it's been on since they brought it back to life. So Tim is saying his phone's not where he can see the chat. He has it across the room so he can use his computer on the hotspot working on the update in his wish list. Okay. So, Tyler from Lackawanna, real fan is saying the audio and video is pretty bad as well. I apologize. I mean, this is as good as it's going to get. Um, 
I am live streaming from a cell phone. So. Oh, container man, you missed the big boy. Well, I caught him earlier. So for those, if this live stream is not good, um, I will be uploading a video later with the uh, with the big boy coming through Cabot, Arkansas, and I've got a real good shot on it. Um, and thanks, John, uh, for telling me I had a good shot on it. Um, I sent it to the STS guys and shared it with them. <laughs> Yeah, Martin, unfortunately, because you live on Norfolk Southern Main Lines, you will not see the big boy. All right, I am in Bald Knob, Arkansas. This is where the Union Pacific Hoxie subdivision splits off, and you have the Memphis subdivision. And also, I put in the title of this uh, live stream that I am in Bald Knob. So, now the other thing is, is while, oh, it looks like we got a little bit of action. We got a UP re-railer driving down. I don't know if he's going to the signal block. Uh, that's what it looks like. But for those who are coming in late, uh, hey, uh, Liam McCurdy. Um, he should be stopping. All right, so the track that's directly in front of me, right here, it literally ends right in front of that white truck, or right before that white truck. This is an actual siding, and if I turn and pivot, it's actually protected by a red signal. So, there, there, there you go. Now you can see the red signal. So this is an actual industrial spur uh, for this industry here. I don't know exactly what they do. So. Hey, Mike, Nisi, welcome. So I'm having a real hard time seeing the chat, and that's because the sun is to my back. So, um, but there is a lot of people here. I mean, just people everywhere. So I'm estimating him to be about 20 minutes out. And it looks like we also got a drone flying up in the sky to our left. I don't know. You probably won't see it on camera. But we got drone footage going too. So from my understanding, he is supposed to stop right in front of us for a refill on water and fuel the fuel truck is here however the fire department that's delivering the water is not here yet hey pappy welcome and if i missed anybody else popping in i apologize like i said i'm having a hard time seeing the screen uh, so Heath, you're actually right. I don't think they do allow it, but I have not seen um, any UP police presence. The only I've only seen local law enforcement. But with this being an actual stopped location, it would not surprise me if UP police does show up. Well, they're actually not late, Roy. Um, the 4014 is running behind today. Um, he was supposed to depart North Little Rock at 8 o'clock. He didn't leave till 8.30. He was supposed to be in Cabot at 8.45, and he did not come through till 9.15. So he's running about 30 minutes late. Now, he should stay here for about 45 minutes. Um unless they try to catch back up on some time, so he might stop for maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. 
Uh, one thing I do know is my friend, uh, Craig, um, who was also at the train show on that video, um, he's actually riding on the train. And he will be getting off here at the depot. So. What's up, Steve Childers? Howdy ho to you too. But yeah, I will tell you, it is hot today. So, Heath, there's actually no caboose. It is a passenger train. But there is a open deck observation on the end. And I think he was able to get on it because he is a Arkansas State representative. But he's also got a lot of ties with UP because he used to be where he's a retired Department of, Federal Department of Transportation inspector. Steve, it looks like a nice day, but it does not feel like a nice day. I will tell you that right now. Yes, Amprit Jr. is with me. He is inside the truck. I've got the windows down. He's trying to wave his hand out, but his hand's not tall enough. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, that's Freak Jr.'s hand right there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, you got to speak louder than that. Hi, everybody. Correct, Heath. Uh, so, when it went down to, I want to say Houston, that is when they um, broke up that consist. The caboose came through about a week, a week and a half ago, but it did not come through my part of the state. It went from Texarkana up to North Little Rock and then over towards Van Buren or Oklahoma. So, yeah, it's hot, humid, and not much of a breeze. So, it's just really, really sticky. So, and everybody's saying hi to the train freak junior. So, he's trying to stay in the shade. Yeah, I really am. But I'm going to pan around and let you see. I don't know. You might have to blow your screens up to see how many people are way back there at the depot. But there's lots of people here. And we do have some action from the high railer. So where the high railer is at, that's actually where the big boy will be the closest to him on track one. So this is actually where the bob knob yard, uh, or this is the north end of the yard. So it's uh, right in front of me. It's four, five tracks wide, not including the spur right dead in front of me. And there's even a UP locomotive over there in the distance, just sitting all right so roy the freight consists behind the big boy has been completely taken off um from my understanding there was some group either out of new, uh, new orleans or houston that paid union pacific to bring in a passenger consist and then they were charging for tickets I do not know the full details on that. Uh, Tim, that is a fun project, let me tell you, because I'm still working on that myself. I would tell you, if you have JMRI operations on your computer, uh, that helps. Or you can use the software that I use for my car cards and waybills, and that's called My Trains. That works great too. What's up, Chris from Go Via or Go Home? What's up, buddy? So we're still waiting on the big boy. He should be here any minute. If anyone can pull up www.upsteam.com, 
and check to see where it's saying he's at. That would be helpful if someone could post that in the chat. So it looks like we're 15 minutes in. We've got 18 people watching, and we're still waiting on the UP big boy to show up, and he will make a pit stop. And there is lots of people here waiting. Oh, well, Libre Office works too, Tim. All right, Judsonia, so that is actually the next town south of me. So if he is moving through Judsonia, he should be here in about five minutes. What's going on, Ray Ron? And we got George or Wally from GFW Trains. Sweet, are y'all... I'm assuming y'all are going to be down in uh, Missouri because it should be at Poplar Bluff this evening, um, which is a few hours north of me. Yeah, you're welcome. Manny Fernandez, welcome, buddy. Glad you're here, too. And it's Wally. All right. So I take it George is in school. So, Wally, are y'all going to be in St. Louis uh, on Sunday to uh, look at it with it not being powered up? Because it's supposed to be stationary all day on Sunday, from my understanding. How's it going? Doing good. We're live. No, not at all. So one thing we're going to hope for is that we do not have a southbound train, because if we do, then it will block our view. But if I was on the other side of the tracks, then you would be looking into the sun. So I think y'all would rather put the sun to our back. Thanks, John. All right, so I hear people saying they see the headlights, so that's a good thing. So it should be here any second. I think they said it's on the main line. Yep, it's on the main line. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, main line. Oh. Wait, what's main line mean? What's that mean? Main line? All right, we got people here saying they have seen a sighting of the headlight in the distance, so he should be here any second. Yep, and I'm hearing the whistle. I think, uh, so, Roy, I think Heath is actually going to be probably doing a screen share of this live on his live, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to see if I can't try to zoom in the camera. Oh, I had the wrong thing. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can't see it to be able to zoom in. But he is coming. He's going to come in slow because he is going to stop. All right, now we got a gray crossing going down. There he is. All right, so now I'm having a real hard time seeing the chat because I'm having to lean on the roof of my truck because that's where my tripod's at. And so now it's going to be stopped for refill. So I think that's the stop whistle. All right. And so it does have a full passenger consist on it. And we can't even see the whole consist because there's another locomotive in the way. It looks like an SD78. But this is a pit stop for refueling and rewatering. Wally, you are absolutely welcome, buddy. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I don't know if y'all want to wait 45 minutes for it to depart. So, and for all of those who came in as the uh, big boy was coming through, welcome. I appreciate everyone coming. So how did they power the cars before the diesel? Um, so each of the cars would have their own, I don't know if you called it a dynamo or a generator underneath the passenger car. And then as far as the heating it was piped in from the steam locomotive, from my understanding. And for all of those that are saying thank you, y'all are absolutely welcome. What's going on, Real Toy Trains? So for those who don't know, Real Toy Trains is, still has a contest going. Make sure you go check his channel out. You're welcome, Rick. John, you are welcome as well.
I was going to take the day off no matter what. But I thought I would share this with y'all. And I do have a video. I will have it uploaded later this evening with it coming through my hometown. Uh, not stopping. And I'm actually closer to the tracks at that location than here. Yes, hashtag Real Toy Trains 500. What's going on, John? Nopal? Scott Johnson? Welcome. All right. So, Container Man said, are you going to go explore up close now? Well, I can go explore close if y'all want me to. Uh, the only problem is, is they're not letting people cross the track, so I would have to drive a few blocks down, cross over to get close. And I'm telling y'all, there is like thousands of people here. No lie. This place is the most packed rural town that's probably going to have as far as stops go. I'm afraid if I try to get mingle in with the crowd, it's going to be getting in the middle of a showstopper cesspool. Because they did say the numbers are going back up here. Yes, thank you, Ken. Everyone, please, thumbs up. That helps. Did I break his computer? It's still his fault. So, Norman Rowe, I am in Bald Knob, Arkansas. I am on the east side of the tracks. Uh, the train is actually on track one. And I don't know if y'all can hear the uh, noise or not, but they are actually in the middle of Greasing the axles. So I can't go over that direction. So I'm going to try not to get y'all sick as I do it. Oops, sorry. And I got Junior with me, so he's going to come with me too. Come on, buddy. All right. I got to hop down out of the bed, so the camera's going to jerk. Excuse us? No, you cannot walk on the track, buddy. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I can see the chat better now. So, Mr. Jimbo, that is a really good question because, um, yeah, it's way down there. <laughs> I would say one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve passenger cars, one diesel electric providing auxiliary power to the passenger cars only. You do have the big boy with uh, its tender and two other tenders. And I apologize if you can't hear me right now because Arkansas likes to keep the uh, crossing gate bills going. The whole time they're down. Like I said, lots of people here. Right now, they're greasing the axle. No, unfortunately, I'm only chasing the day, Wally. All 
right, I'm going to see if I can't go to the front side. Well, again, all right, so I think this is the view everybody wants right here. Yeah, uh, Pappy, I agree. So what I'm going to try to do now, um, without shaking the camera too much, I'm going to try to set my tripod down. So I apologize for all the shaking. Yeah, it's like everyone is speechless. All right. So this right here. Yeah, let's see if we can lift her up. There we go. All right, Pappy, you take care, buddy. So I've actually seen them do the greasing on the 844 in the past. Uh, this is my first time seeing them actually grease up the 4014. And of course, it's going to take longer uh, because of the fact you've got two sets of drive wheels. Uh, very humbling, Norman. Very humbling. And let's see here. My battery's at 61%. So hopefully we'll be able to watch it take off. And that's the real humbling is watching it start off. So, Junior, why don't you tell everybody on YouTube World what you think of the locomotive? Oh, it's amazing. It really suits the name. It is really big. I just love the fact that they got Big Boy painted on the front of the boulder. Yeah. Like, it's not even how you spell Big Boy. Yes, it is. Yeah, part of that why I shaded. Roy, I agree with you completely. Everyone needs to be in all. Now, the reason why my camera is zoomed out, because let me tell you, when it goes by and you're right up close to it, the thing is so huge, you can't get the whole locomotive in the camera frame.
stay here and talk to everybody, okay? Can you do that? Hey, guys, I'm going to have to step away. So now you got Train Freak Jr. to talk to. So here's your chat. So just talk. talk y'all talk to Train Freak Jr. I'll be right back. Hey, Roy. Hi. I'm good. I'm good. Sorry, guys, I had to go get water. Hey, we got Keith from CA&P Railroad. Welcome, buddy. Thanks, Norman. I really appreciate that. Now, if anybody else popped in, Train Fan 120, Mr. Jimbo Trains, Roy Eltham. Hey, everyone. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Mr. Norman Rose said you did a great job. Thank you. You gotta come up here and sit so you can hear you. Thank you. Well, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> I've been replaced. Well, Wally, haven't you been replaced by George? They're saying you have been. You know the kids. The kids they always take over. Yeah, exactly. But the cool thing about you know being a dad, you just get to do it with them. Yes. So, containment, that is a very good point. Um, I do know that uh, the school district here did bring some of the students, but not all of them. So, I think it, from my understanding, it was the fourth graders that got to come. 
It looks like they're just about done greasing her up. Big boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Norman, that's very true, too. All right, looks like they're putting the grease gun back up in the tender. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if y'all can see that or not because I know I am zoomed out. Yes, they do grease both sides simultaneously. Norman, it is very hot, man. I am. In, it's like a sauna out here. That's why we call it Arkansas. It is really hot. You're welcome, Real Toy Trains. Keep in mind, he's got a contest going on. Make sure you go check out his channel if you haven't already. Now, from my understanding, they're supposed to be here for 45 minutes. So I don't know if they're getting ready to depart or not. Well, it it does look like he did pull the blue flag in the keys, so yes. And they're telling everyone to get back, so he is fixing to depart. And that would be your pocket valve. Oh, uh, make sure you hear that whistle. All right, he's fixing to move forward. Should hear that whistle any second. He's starting to move. But very slowly. Okay. Looks like he only inched. Forward. Don't know exactly what that was about. 
And he's putting the blue flag back out. So for those who run steam on their layout, you have to keep in mind that your signals are a little different than modern diesel today. You would still have your two chuffs going forward, three chuffs for reverse, but you do have a single chuff for stop. Now it does look like some of the crew are loading up in some of the cars in the back. And it sounds like they're doing something on the other side. They might be greasing up the other side. My last tracks, man, you got to go back to the beginning. Well, not necessarily to the beginning. So about 15 minutes in, uh, 15, 20 minutes in, and that's about when the big boy arrived. Well, I'm thinking they greased up the side that we're on. I think they, the engineer side now, I think they're greasing up the fireman side. Um, it could have been that the draw bars were in the way. Yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. And then the other thing is um, I did film a video of it coming through my town earlier. I will have that up on YouTube later this evening. Now, I don't know if anybody can see this uh, turnout right here in front of me, but I just noticed that on the uh, the points for your rails that slide back, you know, side to side, they actually have brackets with wheels on them. So that's pretty cool. Thanks, Norman. I appreciate that. 25-27 was the arrival time. I knew I got on a little early. So for those who are wanting to catch the big boy, from my understanding, it will be in St. Louis, Missouri, um, sitting um, on display all day Sunday. From there, it's going to travel over back to Kansas City and then on its way over to Denver. I do not know exactly what day, but you can all go to www.utsteam.com and check the schedule to see if it's coming near you or if you want to fly somewhere to go see it. Um, it's definitely a life experience. All right, looks like he's grabbing some of the blue flag keychains in for people that are getting in the train. Or, you know, personnel crew that's going to be on those first few cars right behind the diesel electric locomotive. And there's our pop valve again. That's good.
So, well, you're going to take the Texas Eagle. I would assume that would be the train y'all would take. I know that's the one that comes through here. Now, how are you going to chase it by airplane, Wally? That's that's interesting. I mean, you're probably up in the sky for ten minutes by the time you know, and by the time you get to your next stop, and have to wait thirty, forty-five. It is hot. It's very hot. Some yeah, Wally, I, man, I don't know Amtrak that much. I just know we have the Texas Eagle comes through here. Um, 20 and 21 are the two train numbers. Um, I do have a friend who is an engineer that will either uh, drive it from Little Rock to uh, Texas or he'll drive it from Little Rock to St. Louis. So he is an engineer for Amtrak. And the times that it comes through here is during the middle of the night. Oh, that'd be cool. Flying in a plane, chasing it in a private plane. Hey, Mike Pringle, how are you, buddy? So where is Craig? From my understanding, he was on the train. Uh, knowing him, he is probably over in the depot, um, which is just right over there. So for those who don't know, that depot is a hobby shop. And he mostly carries O-Scale. But he does have a selection of H O N G and Z as well. Oh man, y'all missed it when it came through Chicago. Man, that's a bummer. But at least y'all are gonna get to catch it in St. Louis. It's worth catching for sure. This will this is my second catch of the, the big boy. Give me some water, please. Yes. Don't drink at all. I bet my G rate is about to evaporate. Your G rate's gonna evaporate. Yeah, not only, you know, water is the only liquid that can evaporate. Me and water. Well, there you go, uh, Roy. You gonna catch it? So the last time I caught it, I caught it coming across the Arkansas River Bridge between Little Rock and North Little Rock. Um, I did upload that on my channel a while back. Um, it's pretty neat to see it come across a double track bridge. And I also caught the 844 doing the same thing years ago.
No, it should pull forward here in a little bit. He's got to do maintenance. Maintenance? Yep. Oh. I heard something slam on the other side. Don't know what that was. We need some shade. need shade? Yeah, it's so blazing hot. So i tell you what would have been really cool to see the 4014 and the 844 in tandem. That would have been awesome to see. Um, I know Craig knows uh, Ed Dickens pretty well, so maybe I can talk to Craig and put in a good word for Ed. That would be really cool. Thanks, Wally. I appreciate it. Don't hit, the, don't hit the tripod, buddy. You'll shake the camera. You'll make everyone seasick. Uh, I think they did, which was the very first run of the 4014 coming out of retirement. Of course, uh, it did not come through this um, this part of the U.S. All right, Norman, I will try to do that, buddy. And then I'll probably add on the uh, Cabot one, too. Man, I got a great shot of it going about 45 miles an hour. I mean, just black smoke everywhere. And that's how you want to see a steam train is with the black smoke. Got a bell, but he still has the blue flag on the engineer. Okay, so for those who don't know, the five blows is to represent for the train crew to aboard their train um, if he was moving south or facing south he would have told everyone or he would only blow it four times so you can look up uh, whistle rules uh, on that I actually ended up getting a couple of books well, about a week ago it's the uh, rules and regulations of the railroads I got one for the Illinois Central and the Texas and Pacific uh, dated 1912 and 1914, and it's got all of those whistle signals in it. It's really interesting. Yeah. So the blue flag means that the locomotives stay in place, and that's because the train is under maintenance, from my understanding, or a car could be under maintenance. So they would put the blue flag, and it's actually hanging out of the engineer's window. Um, and then when the train departs, or on that blue flag, he has these little keychains hanging on there, one for each person. And as each person calls in that he is aborted on the train, he'll take the keychains off. And then once the flag is cleared, he'll pull the flag in, knowing that he can uh, proceed.
John Arthur, man, you made it after all. So, John, when you get done, go back to the beginning of the stream, skip in about 25 minutes, and you'll get to see the arrival. Well, right there is a lot of people here. And there's a lot of, I mean, the locomotives laugh, too. Alright, I've got full bars, man, so I don't know what that would be. Ah, John's on lunch. Well, hopefully while you're on lunch, you get to sit apart. Oh, man, my audio is getting compressed. That's not cool. My uh, Wi-Fi is not on, so I know I'm not picking up a wireless signal, and I am on 5G with full bars. Is this no sound underwater? I mean, this is the first of uh, live streaming from a cellular device in Google Version So. Roy, I haven't changed anything, buddy, so, man, I don't understand, and I can barely see the screen. Like, if I go to settings, it just blacks out on me, so. But it looks like the blue flag's only hanging about two or three keychains. Uh, battery, that's a good question, Joe. I'm at 46%. So, it could be all these notifications I'm getting. You know, he's blowing up my chat. YouTube videos popping right and left. So, it could be that while I'm talking. Ah, good to know, Norman. Thank you. All right, so Ed Dickens is back in the window. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, yeah, I think the water truck is on the other side. I know they were supposed to be refueling here. Norman, you're absolutely right. It's all his fault. And the blue flag is gone. Here we go. All right, she's moving. 
Uh, Ed Dickens is the engineer. All right, everyone. So there goes the Union Pacific 4014 Big Boy Steam Locomotive. I appreciate y'all being here, especially the thumbs up to help get this video out. And Preet Jr. gave you a thumbs up as well for being here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off as the big boy is leaving. Y'all take care. Be safe out there. Happy railroading. And I will try to get another video uploaded this evening. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, everyone.